okay so it's been like maybe a week and a half now since spring well since spring break since last week was spring break and I haven't been able to get to do a product review because I've just had the worst string of bad luck lately okay I'm not really gonna get into it because if I do it's gonna make me pretty sad but here I am, I'm getting ready to do another product review for you and I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. It's actually going to be on a um, product from a series I've never, a uh, brand I've never actually heard of before until now. This brand is called Softy. If you don't know what it is, I'll tell you about it later on in the video here. But this is the product I'm going to be reviewing right now. This is the Softy Indian Hemp Hair and Scalp Treatment. The only place I know where you can find this stuff is over at the select Dollar Tree stores, select dollar stores. And yes, it's only a buck for this amount. This is only three ounces. I believe there's a much bigger fluid ounce, I think like a 12 ounce one. I'm not sure where you can find that. I'm kind of hoping I'll run into it one day. But I know that you can find this stuff over at select dollar stores for about a dollar. So it's not going to break the bank if you want to try it. Now, the backstory behind this isn't really much. In fact, I was actually inspired by another YouTuber by the name of Offbeat Look. Um, her real name is Camille Johnson. You might know her. If you are interested, I'll probably leave her information in the description. But she actually used this product in particular in her curly hair routine, and I was interested in trying it. So I went to the nearest Dollar Tree, which happened to be nearby my college campus, and I ended up purchasing this. I've been using this ever since then as mostly a leave-in conditioner. This is what the product itself looks like. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but this is what it looks like. It's a, it's somewhere a, like a gel slash grease. And she said in her video, according to her review, she said that this stuff smells like candy. It smells really good. And according to reviews I read about the Softy Indian Hemp Hair and Scalp Treatment, or any of the softy products that they have. Oh, and by the way, I will leave the softy website in the description if you want to check it out. But many people have said that this stuff in particular smells like Jolly Ranchers. However, when I smell it, it smells like jam to me. If you don't know what jam is, jam is like that that um orangey red colored hair grease that most commonly would be used for people who have relaxed hair. I know I had to use it when I wanted to grease my edges down back when my hair was relaxed. But um, that's pretty much what this stuff smells like to me. It doesn't smell like candy to me. And believe me, considering that I've been eating a lot of candy and I love Jolly Ranchers, it just doesn't smell like that to me. So anyway, I've been using this as a leave-in conditioner and I have to say that this product is pretty good. Considering that it has, considering that the first ingredient in this is petrolatum or petroleum jelly, I guess, to some sort. This is the ingredient list on the back. I can't, I'm not going to read it out to you because then that'd be boring. But the first ingredient in this is pretty much petrolatum, petroleum jelly, I guess. And if you don't know about me, I tend to steer away from products that have mineral oil or petroleum in it because, well, my scalp does not agree with that which I will be getting to about this particular product. But most of the time I just smooth this product on on the um, length, the ends and the mid shaft ends of my hair here. I tried putting this stuff on my scalp and my scalp did not agree with it. My scalp stayed itchy until my next wash day when I had to wash it out. So if you are looking to try this onto your scalp, I recommend testing on a small patch on your scalp first. And if there's any kind of itchiness whatsoever, then it might not work. Otherwise, if you want to, you can just use this on the rest of your hair and it will do just fine. It's not greasy, it's not sticky or anything. And a little goes a long way. So I'm pretty much down to maybe about two thirds to maybe three fourths of the jar left. So I've been using a little bit at a time. You don't really need a lot of this stuff. And I've mostly been using it as a leave-in conditioner than a regular daily hair styler. Because it tends to work very well in sealing in the water and whatnot. And plus, on that matter, it sinks in pretty fast. All you have to do is just take a little bit right here and just... In fact, let me scoop this out. 
I don't know if it's showing up on the video here, but this is what it looks like when it gets on your finger and then you can just rub your hands together. It looks a little greasy right now, but you can just smooth it in on your hair and whatnot and it's, it'll do just fine. So it's very easy to use and in terms of it saying that it's supposed to make your hair, it's supposed to ensure growth and nourish your dry hair. It does fine when it comes to making my hair less dry than before. In fact, my hair tends to retain moisture a lot better when I use this stuff. But in terms of, I guess, strengthening it or inducing hair growth, I can't really comment on that because, well, it's kind of hard to tell my hair growth if I color it every other week or bleach it every other week here. So on the terms of hair growth, I can't really comment on that. But all in all this product is pretty good and I'm actually considering buying another small jar after I'm done with this jar or if I'm lucky and I find the I think it's I'm really thinking it's 12 fluid ounce jar it's a much bigger jar I know that and I know um, Miss Johnson on offbeat look has that bigger jar but if I happen to come across into that I will be more than happy to purchase it and test it out myself but all in all this product is pretty good it's only a buck for now until you find a bigger jar like I've said several times but if you find this it's only a dollar it's not gonna break the bank it's not gonna hurt your wallet or your pockets so even if you don't like it it's not like you put a huge investment into it so all in all this product is pretty good maybe four out of five stars it could be better in terms of what it stands for like maybe hair growth and nourishment it does nourish my hair, but I can't tell if it grows my hair. I just know that my hair is more um, moisturized. It, it takes water a lot better. So this is pretty good. If you tried this before, leave, leave in the comments below how it worked for you. It doesn't matter what your hair type is. Just let me know how this product itself worked for you. I have written a blog post on my blog. I will leave it in the description below if you want to actually check out my blog post. So I will leave that in the description. And if you, are, if you like this review, of course, a thumbs up is always appreciated. But feel free to tell me how this product worked for you in the comments below. I'd like to read it. Oh, and also, if you found the bigger jar of this stuff, please let me know in the comments below because I'm actually looking for it. I may not have mentioned it earlier in my video, but I am looking for it. So if you do happen to find it somewhere, if you do happen to find it somewhere nearby, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, I read comments all the time. But that's pretty much it. A thumbs up is always appreciated if you like my video. If you want to read my blog post, I'll put it in the description below and... I will try as hard as I can to get to the next review here. But like I said, I've been having a serious string of bad luck lately. And I've just been trying to recover from that. So I hope you guys had a really good spring break. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Okay? See you later, everyone.